Hi guys, I got asked recently how to take a screenshot on Windows 11, so I thought I'd share this with you guys as well. Quickest way to do it is to press the Windows key, or the Windows Start menu key, and press Print Screen together, Print Screen at the top of your keyboard on the right hand side. It says P-R-T-S-C-N. You'll see the screen flash like this, and looks like nothing's happened. Click on the yellow folder at the bottom, the File Explorer, go to Pictures, Double click. And then go to screenshots. And then there's your screenshot. You can then email this to anybody you want or send it via messenger if you're trying to show somebody something's wrong on your computer. Another way to do it, if you don't want to take the whole screen, this takes the entire screen as is. Close this box and click on the start menu. Type in snip. It should bring up the snipping tool. Left click, and okay. bring this into the center. So you can either press the Windows logo key, Shift and S to start a new one, or just click New at the top here. Um, you've got a variety of modes you can choose, you can choose rectangle mode, so say if you want to capture something in a square, I'll give you a quick demo. Uh, if you press New, the screen goes dark. If you hold on the left button, highlight whatever you'd like to take a screenshot of, and there you go. And so if you want to save that, just click on these three dots on the right hand side. You can save it, you can print it. You can share it as well. Um, you've got other options in here as well. You can choose a uh, window mode. Window mode only works if you've got a particular window open. So say if we open the yellow file explorer again. And then we go to new. The screen goes dark again, but wherever you put our mouse, that's what it's going to target. So if we click on this window, it should take a screenshot, and there it is. Okay, next thing to do is freefall mode. I'm just going to close this window out over here. We don't need this anymore. Bring this back into the middle. And if we press new, this is if you want to freehand draw something. Say you've got all the icons or information on the screen you don't want other people to see. You can draw around the icons. Forgive my terrible mouse skills. Okay, and then you can save it again. You can go to save and print on that one as well. There are editing tools at the bottom as well. So you can erase certain sections. So you can go to eraser and say if you're really rough hand like me, you can take out certain sections. Um, you can also crop it as well. So you press the crop tool at the bottom and then draw this, pull this in like this, tidy it up a little bit, and then press tick to re. There we go. Okay, I'm going to close this one. The last one is kind of the old school method. It works on Windows 10 as well. If you just press the print screen on its own, you will see your mouse cursor flash on the screen. In order to get this to save anywhere, you have to open up a net paint program. So I click on start. Right, paint. You can use anything if you've got Photoshop or any other paint program, you can use those as well. And then you left to go over here or click open. And then what you have to do is paste it into here. So you can go to the little paste icon here. If you don't have paste, but just press control, CTRL, plus V on the keyboard, it will paste it as well. And there you go. And now we can go up to the file menu, click save as, and choose your format. Okay, you can also print it from here or send it to somebody. Hope you found this useful, guys. I'll see you on the next one.